as we look at what water has been used all across the plant, all of that gets to the wastewater. And so we want to try to control that as best as possible. If that wastewater loading changes based on the product or it changes based on the load and the manufacturing needs at the time, that's going to put stress on the wastewater treatment. Anytime you stress that wastewater treatment, you could incur extra costs. So it's important to know what is coming to that wastewater treatment, how it's being broken down, and then ultimately meet your discharge compliance guidelines so that you can avoid any fines from your permits, but also make sure that you're hitting your sustainability targets. So really from the time that a water stream enters a plant, how it's been used across the plant to being finally discharged, there are several different critical points that organics monitoring can help provide insight to make the proper treatment decisions. There's a lot of new product out there. Consumers are wanting these new products and they're excited to try different things. But with that, there's still the pressure to maintain the quality and the safety aspect of it. As these regulations start to change more, there will be more of a need for the plants to be able to defend themselves when auditors come in from the FDA or other regulatory bodies. And in order to do that, they have to have reliable data. Using the power of organics monitoring can provide that reliable data so that they don't have anything to worry about when an auditor comes in. The nice part about that is the pharmaceutical industry has been using TOC and organics monitoring in this way for the last 15 to 20 years and is able to defend all of their data, all of their cleaning validation, and their ultra-pure water systems by using organics monitoring. Music